Today we're drinking Brooklady Black Art 6, which is not a cheap whiskey. At most places it costs around $400, euros, pounds. I bought it for $350. The thing about Brooklady, they're famous for creating some unique whiskeys. They at some point had a Brooklady X4, which was the most alcoholic whiskey in the world. They have a line of the most beaded, the most smokiest whiskey in the world, which is called Octomore. Brooklady Black Heart is famous for whiskey lovers as one of the most complex whiskeys out there. So I decided to give it a shot, try it out for my 26th birthday. I bought a 26 year old whiskey. Here's what the case looks like. So you might notice that it says Black Heart 1990, which might come off surprising because I just said that it's a 26 year old whiskey. How come it says 1990? Well, if you are coming from the wine world, you will probably know that all the years when the wine was bottled counts for whiskey. It works differently. Ever since a whiskey is put in the bottle, it doesn't age anymore. The whiskey that was put in the bottle a hundred years ago will taste the same because it's a higher proof spirit. It doesn't keep maturing after it's put in the bottle. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's a very discreet black bottle. Looks very, very nice. So black art, it's an expression of Rukladi, one of their secret expressions. It was started by Jim McEwen. He was the one who revived Rukladi after they went bankrupt. He gathered investors around and they he convinced them to invest back in Brooklady. That's how they revived the distillery. And today it's one of the uh, most vibrant scotch distilleries out there. So you can already see by the color how old this whiskey is. No one says exactly what goes in these black art bottles, but if you ask any whiskey enthusiast who has ever tried black art, they'll tell you that it probably has some sherry casks. It smells like it does have some sherry cask. There's a lot of wood in here, a lot of oak impact. I wanna admit, I didn't really like this whiskey when I bought it, and I'm still not a big fan of it. There's a point of diminishing return when you buy whiskey, and for scotch, it comes out about $80 per bottle. $350, $400 per bottle, it's a lot of money. You know, I splurged in it. I don't blame myself, I don't regret it, but just saying. There's a lot of wood spice, a lot of wood impact. It's very spiky. It's a, uh, there's some malt in there. There's some fruitiness. It's definitely not sweet. I'm not a big fan of it, but um, everybody says unilaterally that Black Art 4, which was the last year of Jim McEwen heading the distillery, was the best whiskey that Brooklady has ever made. I think it starts giving up some sweet elements in there. Yeah, it starts opening up. Yeah, after I added some water, it um, started opening up a little bit. It's not as spiky anymore. It gave out some sweetness, just a tiny hint. I don't wanna say I'm, I hate it. It's a good whiskey for someone who likes more woody stuff who likes a little bit of sherry impact. 